Hey, this is Phil Ratcliffe, president of Rebel Financial, and thanks so much for joining us uh, for our November newsletter. Um, we've got some great information for you all um, after uh, this exciting election season uh, to share with you. So first of all, is just kind of my message. Um, I've, I've gotten a few people that have, that have called me or emailed uh, being concerned uh, about their investments and what's going to happen. And one of the things that we always like to keep in mind is that it's a long-term game. And really when we look historically, because um, that is the key, the look at the long-term and look at history, because the future will be different than the past, but most complex systems like our economy and the markets over the long-term tend to average out uh, very close uh, to what they've done in the past. Um, so when we look historically, you know, markets will go up and down, but over the long term, it's very good to stay invested. So I put a couple uh, Vanguard pieces below that you can click on PDFs uh, to where you can look at those and kind of really get a sense of the long term. And even a lot of times when you look at some of the downturns or this or that, uh, they tend to be bumps in the road. Um, and since for those of you that are clients, uh, we do the investments for you with discretion so that when things are down, based on the academic research to say what is going to help us gain the most with the least amount of risk, we do that automatically for you. Um, so check those pieces out. They're great. There's another article down there by Bob Virez uh, that uh, he shared with us to share with you as well, uh, talking a little bit about the change and what are the, some of the things that we can look forward to um, um, coming up in the, the next few months. Um, lastly, I like to put my own historical perspective in there uh, because I am an avid history buff, um, have read just about about almost every president, um, and it brings to mind a few examples um, of past presidents uh, that it seemed weren't prepared or weren't going to do the, the greatest job. And I think the number one that comes to mind uh, when you look at, at the people that lived with him uh, thought he would do the worst job was Abraham Lincoln. Um, and now, of course, with hindsight, uh, we see him as one of our greatest presidents. Not to say uh, that Donald Trump will be one of our greatest presidents, uh, but it's interesting to see what the people of the time versus what happened historically, uh, things work out. Uh, secondly, uh, if you look at, like, say, Ulysses S. Grant, um, who was, by many accounts, an alcoholic um, and mainly uh, made his career by just being aggressive um, without a lot of experience in politics or what so, was still a decent president. Not great by any means, um, but still did the job. You know, he was very popular. Um, and then my last example, um, I think, is somebody that, when I have read, was probably the least prepared president in history, uh, which was Harry Truman. Um, and by all accounts, you know, for who he was, being a good guy... <laughs> just a regular guy, did a great job for, for the spot that history had put him in. And that, that brings me to, you know, it's interesting to me that even the most average of us or those that we may not consider to be the best of us uh, can still rise to the occasion. And the presidency is a office, not a person. And so hopefully uh, Mr. Trump can rise to the occasion um, and do that office justice um, we're still going to be okay. We're invested for the long term. Um, as you see, the markets have already, already raised up. It's probably because um, the, the business community uh, and the markets are anticipating lower taxes, less regulation, uh, etc., uh, which is generally good for business, maybe not necessarily for everyone else. Um, but your investments are what uh, will probably do pretty well uh, the next few years. But again, we are not dependent on that. We keep our eggs in different baskets. We buy low, sell high. We have a very good investment strategy. Uh, stay the course. Uh, lastly, down below, if you want to know what happened last quarter, we put the, the uh, quarterly market update uh, for everybody on the newsletter to be able to see uh, this quarter. Uh, things are going well, turning around, uh, kind of hitting off of that short, intermediate uh, uh, period of time uh, that was going against the long-term uh, adjustments that we make to your portfolio, um, and it's very good to see that turning around. So hopefully uh, that will continue, even if it doesn't in the short term. In the long term, that's probably what's going to happen again. Again, these are just our perspectives. There's some resources there. Remember, uh, you're always in you know, your retirement accounts and your long-term investment accounts for the long term, um, and even when you're 
emotions tell you to do something, you should think twice. I mean, uh, one last little analogy. Um, you know, I'm reminded of a, a study that they did uh, a while back uh, on soccer. Um, and so they, they looked at goalies and just looked at the statistics of it. Those that jumped right or jumped left or just stayed where they were. And the interesting thing is those that jumped right stopped like 14%. Those that jumped left stopped like 12%. And those that stayed still stopped like 33%. And that's really interesting, and, and, and it made a, the, the researcher wonder, why do most people jump? And the thing was, when they stood still and they missed it, even though they had over double the chance of stopping it, they felt bad that they missed it because they didn't do anything, and if they would have done something, maybe they could have stopped it. Whereas when they jumped and they missed it, at least they took action. And that's an important concept. Sometimes you need, the right thing is to not take action. And so again, that's what we're here for. We're a partner. We help you do that so that you can concentrate on your life, on your work, profession, family, and uh, we will help you execute your plan and take care of your investments. So thanks again for tuning in and uh, have a super finish to the year uh, and uh, happy Thanksgiving.